Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about timeline for your exams. Where does observation and research fall into it? Because there's a lot of confusion among the students. I get a lot of questions asked, can I do research for one month? I get asked when people have taken step one and saying, can I come for research? Or sometimes they've done everything and they want to do research, but they've not done any observation or medical student rotations. So let's see if we can talk about those timelines briefly and talk about how, what is most important for your USMLE residency or your US residency. So let's start with that. I'm going to share my screen with you and see if we can help out. Hope you all can see my screen. So uh, Tam, as you see it on uh, in front of you, uh, what we have it, that number one is your USMLE scores. Nothing can beat your US medical score towards your US medical residency. So if you have not started working towards your US MLE, step one, step two, and step two CS for passing step three, that is the best thing you want to do it at this point. Don't get distracted, get your first step done with a really good score. There was a time when then 240 used to be considered 99 percentile, now, but many, many people are getting roughly 250s, 260s, 270s. I've seen 282 score as well. The bottom line is, any score is good as far as you pass it in first attempt, but you would like to shoot for more than 240 or plus. So that is number one. Now it comes to number two. What is the best after your scores? There comes your rotations. And rotations, I will classify them into three parts. If you're a medical student, a medical student, or in, in America or anywhere else, if you can come for your medical clerkship, student clerkship in America, that is the best you can do. Most places will accept you after your USMLE really step one exam being done. Some places will take you without that as well. So if you're a medical student before final year, if you want to come and do your medical student clerkship, that is the second best you can do after schools. If you have passed your medical school and doing internship, you can come for an externship, which is almost equally good as medical student rotation. Let's say if you have passed your medical school, you've done your internship, now you are working as a hospital, working in a, as a junior resident or preparing for US MLEs, you can come for your observership, which is not as good as medical student rotation or externship, but it's still it's a US legal experience. So let me repeat, after your scores, your rotations, and then observation comes in third one. Then somewhere research come in. A research come in a picture where you have all these things done and you want to dedicate your time uh, for research. And in next slide, I will talk about where does this timeline stands for. If somebody starting with all these, uh, who has not done any steps, where does it stand for them? And somebody who's already doing stuff, where does observation and research come in, in, in picture? So in this slide, as you will see uh, that, uh, uh, we'll start with your ELAS application as a time T0. And most of the time, uh, ELAS application goes into around August 15th is your deadline to submit your application. It opens up a day before. So that is a time you want to be ECFMG certified. And that's your deadline. So if you're starting for this year or next year, that's what you should do. It It's usually take 18 months to come to this point. If you've not taken your USB exams at all, you can do faster, but this is something timeline which we have uh, asked, which we have been told by our, our learners in the past. You want to have your ECF certification copy and apply it a month prior. Sometimes it takes time now is it's, it's electronic, so it could be faster. And then that means all your exams should be done a month prior to this and results should be out. And that becomes very important because a step to CS exam, if not taken on time, can take up to three months for the results to come in. Usually you're in step one, two, the results could come within four weeks. But CS could take up to three months if you are not within those windows, and we can talk about them in briefly as well. Uh, so for those reasons, you want to take your step to CS at least six months prior to your ERAS application going in. So you have the results there, then you have a month for ECFMG certification, so you're all set. You want to take your, uh, and CS preparation take roughly two months. It's basically reading your USMLE world books, um, the U world, uh, uh, for, I'm sorry, first aid book, and practicing. CS, practice, 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 practice. That's one of our make you pass. CK is up to you how fast you're reading, how much uh, recent you've read. It can take you up to uh, up to six months. The time, four months time, it's up to you. And those are just some suggestions for you as well. And then step one could be the most labor intensive. You want to put up to six months for that or even longer uh, if you want to score higher or you are a slow reader for that. So see, it's a rough idea of suggestion. 
there is by no means I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you success, but this is something coming out from interview, hundreds of students who have gone through uh, and then uh, be a mentor of them. So at the timeline wise, that's where you are and this is you want to do it. You can cut short your time on step one and step two based on your reading uh, and give it a little bit time for CS and then uh, go and apply for uh, your, US, your US residency application. Now, you may ask, where does observation and research set into this timeline? So let me give you this overlapping timeline, which may help you understand a little bit. So in bottom, if you see, ideally, because you have done your step one, then most programs or most uh, prestigious institutions will take you for observation or medical student rotations or externship. Your time is because uh, to apply for these programs right after your step one. And sometimes you can apply for right before step one if you don't feel distracted. Apply for observation, even for clinical research. Your goal is that you apply. It'll take you a few months for these applications to get processed, approved, visa, and all those things, which we'll have a different talk to talk about. Uh, then you finish your step to CK and come and do your observation as well as you take your step to CS exam as well during your observation. So you are hitting two words with one stone. Not only you're coming here to do your observation and finish your step to CS exam within the US as well, so you can interact with other people, improve your English, improve your communication skills and data gathering skills. And once you're done with your step to CS, that's your time to start your clinical rotation, clinical research rotation. Most of the time, I would suggest to do it up to a year of research in clinical area so you can have a couple of uh, first author publications, a couple of abstracts, case reports, so on and so forth. If you can't afford to that much to do it, most of these are free. You have to spend your own money. Nobody should charge you anything for that, but at least do for six months. You cannot do research for six months and expect to learn and get most benefit out of it. So here's a timeline for you. Again, just to repeat, uh, uh, to go with it. One is give it up to a year to six months to go through, so 18 months to go to the whole process. Be ready for your ECFMG application before ERAS application open up or at the time it is opened up. And then set your observation and clinical rotations after your step one exam and do them after CK so you're not distracted. Secure your score because remember, the score is a top one priority, then observation and rotations, then clinical research. So hope you find it useful and we will are recording many more re, uh, videos like that. In fact, we are interviewing some of the uh, international medical graduates who have scored really high and they are in residencies and fellowship and they'll be able to share with you as well. So please like, subscribe and um, and uh, and let about this channel and let us know what you want us to record it and we'll be happy, very happy to record it, uh, more videos for you.